don't wanna call on the X-Wing, I'm just on to the next thing. Growing up, I didn't have the best things, now my diamonds in my neck gleam. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a new addition to the family. We got a new dog. This right here is Elaine, Laney for short, or Ellie for short, and she is a purebred found German Shepherd. The name Elaine comes from my favorite TV show of all time, Seinfeld, and obviously Elaine Bennis is a main character, and she goes by Laney, or Ellie for short. My dad and my stepmom, for some reason, they tend to have like this gift or curse, depending on which way you look at it, but they have a gift or curse for finding stray animals. Basically, every dog that's at my dad's house outside of Nima, Every dog is either a rescue from the shelter or a stray that they found that was either got lost or more than likely, unfortunately, dumped. Obviously, Lainey here, the vet said that she is not chipped and is a purebred German Shepherd who is probably only between nine and 10 months old. And that's why it all, it's mad important, mad important that if you are getting a dog for somebody as a gift or you wanna get a gift of a dog or a puppy, make sure that you are fully aware of what that breed does and entails before you get that puppy. That dog is gonna live for 14, 15 years potentially, and if you based it off of only the how cute they look as a puppy and didn't base it off the work or the medical expenses or the amount of food and just the overall responsibility of taking care of a dog, your life is gonna be miserable and you're just gonna add to the statistic of someone who got a puppy and basically was over it as soon as they got to this size. This is a lifelong commitment and these dogs are innocent and they look at you for guidance and if you're not that type of person, don't get a dog. But if you are that type of person, chances are you're watching this video because of it. This video is really just an announcement that we got another dog in the family, Lainey here, Elaine, Ellie, whatever you would like to call her on YouTube, and it also happens to be a product review for dog products. All right, guys, everything that you're about to see, I purchased on Amazon, and I will link these things in the pinned comment and in the description with affiliate links. Affiliate links, when you click on them, if it basically tells Amazon that I sent you that way. Even if you don't buy these products, if you buy anything on Amazon, after clicking the affiliate link in 48 hours, I get some kind of like cut or commission from it. It's not a whole lot, but it does help, so I would appreciate if you use these links. But obviously, with a new dog, I gotta get new supplies, especially considering that she is almost the complete opposite style of breed than Nima. Laney and German Shepherds in general are working dogs. They have undercoats. They're more active than Greyhounds are for the most part. So these are the supplies that I bought for owning a new dog. First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil, obviously. But dog related first things first, we just got a basic collar. This collar cost me like eight bucks. It's neoprene. It is also high visibility. So the gray that you see here is like high reflective material. And it just has a plastic clip and a metal D-ring. Nothing crazy on this. They have like 10 different colors. You can get them in whatever you want, but I needed a normal collar. Greyhounds, they use a different type of collar because their head is narrower than their neck. So it'll slip off. But a dog that's normal, not a Greyhound or a Whippet, you can get away with one of these. Nothing fancy. Second thing that we needed to buy, a slip lead. Slip leads are different than normal leashes. Normal leashes, they clip to the D-ring and then they're just and then you're just pulling them and holding them by their leash. Slip leads are more like a hybrid between a training leash, a training lead, and a normal leash. This does not connect to the collar in any way. As you can tell, they call it a slip lead because you slip the head in the hole and it's basically like a noose. So if the dog tries to pull while they're being walked, or if they try to pull or you need to pull them while while you're in the middle of training or teaching them something, basically this, if they try to pull. It just gets tighter like that. You see all the gray that's on there? The slip lead is also highly reflective and I wanted to get matching everything for both dogs. So Lainey has a purple collar and leash. Nima has a purple collar and leash. The third thing that we purchased, and this is honestly the best one of all the things that we bought so far. This is Hertzko, but it is a de-shedding brush. And this is probably the best purchase that I have ever made on Amazon. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know how fine it is, but you see how it's gray and flat right there? Basically you click this button that's on the back you click that and all of the teeth of the brush come out and it gets under the first layer of, of coat and then you brush back the second undercoat and then once the bristles are filled up, you push the button on the back again, the bristles retract and then you just wipe clean all of the hair on. Bro, I'm telling you, I've already used this. This is by far one of the best products that I have ever purchased on Amazon. And the best part about it is that Lainey actually enjoys it. The cats enjoy using it. I have two cats. This is by far the best. I have hardwood floors, so hair easily shows up on them. You need this, I promise you. And then these two last things, they go together. The first thing that I bought, this was not purchased on Amazon, but 
Apple AirTags, baby. I have never used Apple AirTags before, so I'm very excited to see how they work and see if it's something that makes sense in terms of a dog application to be on the leash. And when it comes to holding these, what I got are these Tag Vault Pets from Elevation Labs. These are basically AirTag holders that they don't clip to the collar and they don't, they don't slip. They're not rubber, I don't believe. So they are permanently fastened to the collar so the dog cannot scratch it off, basically. I'm super pumped to try this. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A walking leash and a training lead hair remover. Probably the best purchase out of all of these things. These little air tag holders, I think I'm gonna make a separate review simply just for these. Cause I feel like I can go into a lot more detail about it. And then we got the air tags and a collar. Welcome in a new dog to the family, to the third fam. And I'll catch y'all guys in the next video.